posture for vertical. First of all, position of your racket, where your racket should be. Your racket should be center of your body, here. So from here, you have an equal distance to forehand, here, to backhand, ready. So you are ready for everywhere. And your racket should be a little bit higher than the net. So because of the net, shuttle will go up. So racket should be higher, not too high, not too low, a little bit higher than net. Okay, like this. Okay, now, move your racket forward from your body. Watch this. Like that. Not like that. It takes too long. And automatically, you will be making bigger actions. But if you do that, you will reach to the shuttlecock much quicker. And automatically, you will be making compact actions rather than big actions. Okay? So, move your racket away from your body, like that. The wrong way, like this. Right, center. Okay, at this point, the racket should be knife. Not like that. Not like that. Knife. So 50, 50, you are ready. Okay, how about here? Okay, one more. The wrong way. Like that. Or like this. You have a problem there. You have a problem here. Ready. Okay, not here. In front. So you will be taking each other in front. But if you do that, you will be taking here. There. Okay? There. Not there. There. Okay? Not there. The when beginner came, the experienced club player normally ask the beginner, put your racket up. And the beginner players put their racket too high. And the shuttle goes faster. They are not ready. Put racket up a little bit higher than the net. Here. Not here. Not there. A little bit higher. So you are ready. There. Okay? There. Not there. There. When you put your racket up, if shuttle is there, then your racket point to shuttle. If shuttle is there, your racket should point there. If shuttle is there, you are ready. Look, when shuttle is there, you are ready like that, you are ready 50, 50. But when shuttle is there, your racket is there, then this is too much room here, 70%, and this is too easy. So shuttle comes here, you are not ready. So shuttle there, ready. Shuttle there, ready. Shuttle there, not like this. Yeah? If shuttle comes faster, you are not ready. Yeah? There, always move end of your racket to the shuttle. Shuttle is there, end of the racket, pointer. If you point the end of the racket to the shuttle clock, automatically your racket will be away from you. So you are quicker. Okay, put your point your racket to the shuttle. I don't mean like this. End of the racket, point it. Okay? Okay, watch. Let's say my feeder is there. My racket should not be there. My racket should be there. Because the shuttle is coming from there, your racket should be pointing the shuttle. So let's say, if shuttle go for, come to the forehand side, yeah, you are ready. If shuttle comes there, you are ready. But if you're ready like that, shuttle comes there, yeah, it takes too long. When shuttle is there, your end of the racket point that. And then shuttle comes there, yeah, you are ready. Shuttle is there, you are ready. So you are 50 50 ready. 
But if shuttle is there, your rocket is sent her, shuttle come here, you are not ready. This is a very important. Once you understand this logic, you are already 50% ready for every single shuttle box. So you have already prepared of the opponent possible attack. So do not ignore or don't take this easily. This is one of the very important elements. This logic will apply everything, not only that, everything in badminton. Leg posture. Okay? Not too narrow, not too wide. Yeah, it's difficult to move. About shoulder wise, everybody different. Some of them local legs, some of them shorter legs. Depending on that, you have to find the right distance. Okay, wide here. Yeah. Let's say shuttle is in the center, you should be side by side. If shuttle is over there, then your face has to be facing there. So you are ready 50, 50. Okay, like that. Shuttle is there. Then a little bit face there. So when the shuttle comes straight or across, you have equal distance. When the shuttle is there, if you face straight, this will go too quickly and your feet is not ready for this. And that's too easy. So too difficult, too easy if you do that when the shuttle is over there. So always parallel face the shuttle. Okay? So same idea. Once you do that, you are 50% ready for whichever opponent to hit, straight or across. Straight or across, you are ready equally. Okay? Because of your face. Like that. Okay? Arm, left arm, look, the right arm, you have a racket, you are using power, on your left arm, not racket arm, you have to have a similar energy, similar weight, okay, so one arm with racket, fold it, left arm should be sideways, so it's balanced, like this, okay, like this. Many of them, they do not use the left arm at all, because they think I'm hitting with the right arm, why should I use the left one? That is not right, okay, watch this. Do focus on my left arm. I believe this is the right way. Look here. Uh, net forward it. Left arm side. You shut the come. Okay. Like that. Not. Yeah, not there. It doesn't make good balance. There has to be balance. Watch again. Back end. Not. Try to feel it. Which posture look more ready, more aggressive? Yeah, or it shows not confidence. Worry about that. I don't care. Yeah, what happens? I just uh, do it. Okay, do have aggressive posture. It will bring aggressive attitude, and you will move like angry tiger rather than scared mouse against the stronger player.